Hey everyone, Church of SDFU. So it's getting summer and my hay fever has started, which is great. Uh, I don't like summer. Uh, summers in Australia, they get like 35, 40 degrees, sometimes for a week or two. I don't like heat. I like being, you know, you can always put on more clothes. There's a limit to how many you can take off. Um, and the other thing is, I get hay fever and it sucks. I don't like it. Uh, but this video isn't going to be about me bitching, although I love bitching and thanks for listening. You made me feel a lot better in my misery. I always get like a headache because I'm all clogged up and I know the breathing doesn't work properly or something. It's terrible. Uh, but the point of the video is just on Obama's new plan to raise taxes to close the budget deficit. Um, so, as you know, I'm not the one that is the first one to welcome back election Obama, but welcome back again election Obama. I mean, we already saw it with the jobs bill. Election Obama suddenly here, you know, f wa waving the big flag. Oh, we need to we need to tax the rich and get more jobs and do all of the great things that <laughs> all of the people that voted for him in the first place and people that at least had some moderate expectations of him uh, initially moderate I mean not crazy but at least I was thinking you know maybe things will get mildly better totally dash for three years nothing happens then lose you know he loses the he loses the house and all of a sudden uh, you know, three years later, elections close. Election Obama comes back out. He knows he can't do anything now. He knows he doesn't have any real power uh, because he's lost both most of his credibility, uh, his popularity, and one of the two um, one of the two uh, chambers that he needs to pass laws. And now he comes out with all of these fairly radical um, and in my view at least good policies but of course he does this knowing that it's far too late and that he can't get them passed right at this point so really he's taking no responsibility and he's saying here look here uh, let's tax every all of those rich people let's close the budget deficit but if we were to do it then it would be the Republicans fault as well um, and I know they're not going to do it, so I'm going to get off easy, but hopefully people will believe I wanted to do it. Uh, bullshit. Uh, Obama's a coward. Uh, he is a huge, huge wet douche. Um, yeah, he, I mean, from the beginning, it was, he, he seemed like a lot of politician, but, I mean, he's exceeded all of my negative expectations for how how weak someone could be in that kind of powerful position that he was in in the beginning because i mean arguably he was in the in the strongest position in a long time for a president i mean coming on an overwhelming swell of popular support in an overwhelming um sense that what was needed was change and for someone to sit there for 3 years and do essentially nothing um, except such weak sauce compromises that they had little to no effect um, in almost every case. I mean, I guess the highest honor you could do him is talk about healthcare reform, but that was still shit. <sighs> what the hell? <laughs> And, and now he's, now he's, now he's, I, I mean, this is, if he at least said, okay, I'm weak sauce, I'm not going to do anything. I'm the, I don't do anything without total consensus president. Um, so unless everyone agrees, I'm just here to not do anything. You know, why not just finish your term with that? Why be dishonest and then suddenly pretend like you're this great changer in chief again? Uh, this great uh, hope and change and audacity and all of that stuff. I mean, I know why, because he wants to get reelected, and he's a you know, he's a professional politician. I I do get this, but it's endlessly frustrating. Seriously, I mean, 
I'm not an American, so I'm not gonna get to vote one way or the other. But boy, would boy would going anywhere near Obama in a voting booth leave a bad taste in my mouth. On the other hand, you know what are you gonna do? Vote for Ron Paul to get rid of public schools and like roads and stuff. I know he's not gonna get rid of roads yet, but just you wait. Just you wait for libertarian uh, future. It's gonna be very interesting. Um, so, yeah. Good luck, America. Um, unfortunately, I have to say the same to Europe. And then once it's only us and China left, China's not gonna have anyone to sell all that stuff to. So they're not going to need all of the stuff that we dig out of the ground, which is going to kind of suck for us. So get your act together, everyone. It's really, you know, it's really not very kind to us Aussies. See you guys all later.